Hi, I'm so glad to see you. I'm really happy to be here with you today. And I'm super excited about the project that we'll be doing. This is gonna be so much fun. We'll make collages. And these are gonna be really exciting collages because we're gonna combine shapes and colors however we want to and use some inspiration from a really cool artist. So let's first talk about collage a little bit. Collage is just paper that's glued together. So what you'll need is some paper and some glue today. Um, I'm gonna ask you to use construction paper. So you need at least one color of construction paper. If you have two colors, that's fantastic. That would be, would be super cool, but you can also use a piece of white paper, that's fine. Um, and then you're gonna need a pencil and either a pair of scissors or you can tear the paper out which is also really fun so we'll work on that together um don't worry about that we'll walk through it step by step so that'll be pretty pretty straightforward but first we're going to talk a little bit about shapes we've been talking about shapes lately um we're going to think more about organic shapes today so just different kinds of organic shapes that we can find in nature so um here are some examples and we've talked about this a little bit before and so you already probably have a lot of really cool ideas about organic shapes. Um, so you can use all of the inspiration um, that we've been thinking about lately to help you figure out what to make your collage look like. So let's talk a little bit about this art here before we get started too. These are collages by an artist named Henri Matisse. Um, I wonder if we can find out anything else about him. I'm studying some art books trying to find more information about Henri Matisse, the artist whose collages we're looking at today. He was mostly a painter and he was born in 1869. He lived until 1954. He's from France and he did a lot of paintings that had bright colors in them, but later in his life he started working on collages using all different kinds of bright colors of paper and lots of organic shapes and some geometric shapes um, and patterns of those shapes. So I've got a picture of him working in his studio. You can see how hard he's working on those collages. He's choosing colors very carefully. And I've got another picture to show you. I'll show you a few more pictures of his collages also, but this one is really impressive because it's 12 feet tall by 25 feet long. So I gotta show you. How tall are you? I'm five feet, three inches tall. So this is a lot taller than me and much, much longer. Very large collage. When we look closely at the shapes in this gigantic Matisse collage, we can see that they're abstract, which means they don't really represent or show the exact details of something that's realistic but they're inspired by plant forms, I think, or maybe like ocean type of forms. Um, they're very, very organic looking, but they are abstract because it's not like it's an exact picture of a fern or a seaweed or something like that. I want you to think about that type of idea when you're working on your artwork today too. So you're gonna need one piece of construction paper, whatever color you want to use, um, and if you have a lot of colors, you could use like three colors. If you had three, that would be cool. You could also use two colors. You can also use one color and use a white piece of paper as the base for your collage. So I think today I'm gonna use um, green paper as the base. So that means that's the bottom paper. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna glue all of my pieces for my collage to this one piece of paper. So I don't want to cut this up or draw on it. I'm going to put it over to the side um, on my table today. And then I'm going to use this color to draw my shapes on. So when I'm drawing my shapes, I just am going to use a pencil. Um, I have an eraser too today, just in case I need it. And then I'm going to draw different organic shapes and think about being inspired by Matisse, the artist. So let's see. I'm going to try to draw... I like his kind of plant type of forms. And this one is gonna be hard to um, cut out. There's a lot of different lines in there. So let's try something that's a little bit easier to cut out. 
when Matisse was doing his collages, he liked to think that he was sort of painting with the paper. So I like to think of these shapes as paint shapes. Because I want some color variety and I have a piece of scrap white paper too, I'm drawing some shapes on this white paper so that I can combine it with my yellow on top of my green paper. And that would be the same with whatever color you have. It doesn't really matter. And you don't have to do that. Two colors, just a base color and a collage paper color totally works. Um, but it's nice to have more colors too. If you have them. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is take these shapes and either cut or tear around them. So if we're tearing, we're going to be really careful and tear out the shapes and then put the shapes once they're done over to the side. So we're going to spend some time doing this, um, either tearing or cutting, and I'll show you both. I'll show you examples of both of them. Um, and what we want to do is just have these shapes whatever shapes that we're choosing um, to glue onto the paper pretty soon. So I'm just gonna make a little pile of things. So I want you to spend some good time on this too because you're going to use these as if they were paint and glue them to your base color. Um, so you probably have some scissors that look like this. I want you to remember to be very, very careful when you're using scissors, okay? You're gonna have to cut away from yourself and make sure your hand is not in the way. I know you're good at it already, but it's really important to talk about the safety part. So never cut toward your fingers, okay? And be very, very careful. Always, whenever you're using scissors, unless you're cutting, unless it's the time when you're cutting, you need that to be on the table uh, until you're cutting again, okay? are doing such a great job. Keep up the good work. If you can tell, I'm not really worrying about following that line exactly um, in all of the things that I've been tearing and cutting out. Um, I just want the shape to be there. And then there's a cool trick I'll show you when we're gluing um, where you, if you turn the line that you drew, away from you on your piece of paper, I'll show you in a sec, um, then you won't see it. So like when you're gluing this on the paper, if you turn it upside down like that, you won't see the line that you drew. You'll just see the paper shape. So I also am trying, if you noticed, I'm trying very hard to use as much of the paper as I can. So I'm going up to the corners of the paper with my shape and I'm trying sometimes even to use this extra piece right here and cut it out. I could draw, you know, I could draw another shape here and then take it out of the paper so that I could use all of the paper because I don't want to waste it. I want to use as much of it as I can because it's beautiful. And then we'll work together to glue it together. I think if you took pieces out of your paper for like one more minute, that would be amazing. Are you ready to glue these pieces of paper onto your backing paper? So you have one color that you chose for the base and it could be a white piece of paper. I'm not sure. If we think about this Matisse collage that we've been looking at a lot, he used white paper for his background on that one. So it's up to you. I chose green for mine. But I'm gonna get all of my pieces of paper that I cut out or tore out, and I'm gonna put them in one place, and then I'm also going to get some glue. I don't know what kind of glue you have. Um, I've got some different kinds of glue sticks. I don't know if you have wet glue, um, like Elmer's glue, or if you've got a glue stick. So either one will work, and I'll show you how to use both of them. Um, but if you have white glue, like the liquidy kind, I don't have Elmer's right now, but I have this tacky glue that I got at the dollar store. Um, so I'm going to use this to show you an example. I'm not going to put very much glue when I put it on the paper, okay? Just a little tiny bit. And I'll show you both of these things. Um, so what I'm gonna do is figure out where I want these pieces of paper to go. And then I'm gonna turn the pencil side down toward the backing paper. And you don't have to do this. It's okay if you see that pencil line, that's also really cool. But I don't wanna see it, so I'm gonna turn it away. And then I'm gonna arrange these things on my 
backing paper however I want them to look. So when I do my gluing, I am not gonna put very much glue down on the paper, just a little bit. And I'm gonna actually glue, put the glue onto the collage piece. So if I have a whole big puddle of glue, um, it'll be a little bit harder and it might get on your fingers or something. Um, but we're also gonna make sure we're gluing on top of a space that's okay to glue on too. And these glues, you can wash them off of different uh, surfaces if you need to. But just be very careful when you're using that glue, okay? Because it's really easy to get it all over different stuff. Anyways, I'm going to glue all of these different shapes down however I want them to be arranged. That's up to me. I'm figuring out my composition. Like when we were talking about the composition of a flag, the same thing applies here. This is up to you. It's just how you arrange things in your picture. Um, that's the choice that's up to you. So let's see, let me get some more glue out. And I'm spreading it around with the tip of the glue. I'm trying not to get my hand on there because once you get glue on your hand, it's so sticky and it's hard to keep working. I'm being very, very careful with this. And I'm trying also not to get it to go over the edge of the glue, um, I mean of the paper. Oops. So I'm just being as careful as I can with this. I don't really don't want to spill it, so I'm just being gentle. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. So if you have a glue stick, the idea is totally the same. Get your shape and very, very carefully, I'm actually gonna put this, I'm gonna glue it over my piece of paper. Very carefully put the glue onto the paper. And I'm still, I'm still trying to get the pencil line on the back. Don't forget to pause the video if you need to catch up and keep gluing your paper on to your backing paper until you're happy with your composition. Thank you so much for all of your hard work today. You did such a good job. I'm really excited that we got to work together on this project too. Wasn't it fun? And you can do collages, you know, with different kinds of paper too. You can use glue to attach different kinds of paper together like magazine paper, different pictures of different kinds of things too. There's a lot of potential with collage. So I'm excited um, for you to explore this idea a little bit more. And I'm really excited to work with you next week too. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 